Baby daddy, I ain't got time to take care of your damn kid. So he turns her into a zombie and makes her eat her baby. What? No, no I I'm done. No, this is probably the first. Bro, you serious right now? This dude. Hello and welcome back to another reaction video. This is your boy Bob, and yes, we are back with another CJ the Champ. The guy I turned to with all the anime and stuff, commentary as you you know, as you should know, he got the 411 on every anime character there is. And this one is I do not want to pronounce the name wrong. I think it's Dio. I think it's Dio. I do not know anything about this anime character, but evidently it must be something to him or her, whichever one it may be, because he's a generational hater. That's what he calling it. So we're going to jump right into this. No wait. Let's get it. All right. Okay, here we go. Let's see. Oh, okay. Take a step, I dare you. So he tries to climb it, but he keeps on climbing the same stair over and over and what? over again. Dio's like, wow, what's wrong? You on 400 pink or something? You know what, while you struggle with your lag spikes, I'm gonna sit in this chair that's conveniently here right over this staircase. Really? Ladies and gentlemen, it is finally okay. time to return to the round table of Black Air Force. Oh, the round toy. And our greatest challenger yet has finally approached to be judged and to take his rightful seat at this sacred table of menaces. And it okay. is none other than the greatest hater in anime history, Dio. The king Dio. of hate okay. ass niggas, the pettiest of the petty, probably one of the greatest ops of all time. This man is truly Black Air Force incarnate. So, bro, I ain't even gonna waste no time with this one. So, y'all already know we got the evidence on deck. And it is finally time to observe the generational hater. Okay. So, without further ado, exhibit A. All right. Spoiler Hi, warning. Ladies and gentlemen, I now present to you exhibit A, Dio Brando. So, to understand why this man has the most out of pocket hatred, we gotta go all the way back to 1880. So really? Dio started off in the trenches. Man was playing chess for money, getting beat up in the bar, and living in an old ass shack. So bro hella down bad. So his dad is dying, right? So he tells him, <coughs> oh, shit. Right, listen here, boy. When I die, really? take this letter to the Joe Star family. <laughs> now you see them niggas owe me a debt. <laughs> I tell you, they some rich ass motherfuckers too. So you know what to do. Rob them niggas. Take every last set. Make Pappy proud. So he dies, so Dio's at the cemetery. He's like, hmm, about damn time your old ass died. I ain't gonna lie, f it. Really? You, you drove mama to die. You was a piece of shit. So you can eat a dick, old nigga. Pussy. Whoa. Man. So later really? on, Dio pulls up to the Joestar mansion. So Jonathan's like, hi, my name's Jonathan. This is my dog, Danny. So Dio's like, that's your dog? Yeah, isn't he great? Shit, what the f I your dog? Oh my oh. god, bro, somebody called Peter. This nigga just take or eat the dog. Bro, and he really? get for a minute and he already starting shit. Look at him, bro. He already ready to scrap. So the dad come out and he like, yo, what are y'all doing? And Dio's like, oh, I am terribly sorry. That filthy animal was in my personal space. So Did he just tells Jonathan, I right, listen, Dio's gonna be living here for now on. So Jonathan goes over to touch his bag, but Dio Bro, I can tell you right now, I don't even <sighs> Dio. Okay, who the I'm, I'm drawing a blank like seriously do anybody okay what anime or what manga this this dio came from because right now he's not about to tell me anything this dude look like he's straight up like a menace already like you don't even have like the first two minutes he already look like he's about to put in some work on somebody or whoever or whatever like anybody can tell me where dio came from 
Please. Grabs his hand and elbows him in the chest. So he comes hey. down and he's like, listen, little nigga, this is my house now. I run this bitch. So I want to hear shit from your little spoiled ass. I'm about to make your life hell. So as time goes on Ooh. and they start living together, Jonathan's having this boxing match. So the ref's like, hey, uh, just to let you know, your opponent got changed. Huh? Yeah, you can <laughs> be fighting him. Oh, my God. Really? Round one. Oh, Lord. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness, ladies and gentlemen, he can't even hit him. And a beautiful boom landed by Dio. And a beautiful run right straight to the jaw. Ah. Wow. Really? Oh my God. Yo, this man just washed him in front of his hometown. So after Dio humiliated Jonathan. Jonathan Pretty much talking to you know Arena and everything. So this man Dio decided to do the pettiest. He pulls up on her. He so pulls hey, up on you, JoJo girl. He been looking a little happy lately, and I don't like that a bit. <gasps> oh my gosh, bro, what? This man is so petty. And he says, "Oh, you thought your first kiss was gonna be with JoJo? <laughs> nah, it was with me, nigga." Cut up Dio that. So later on, Jonathan <laughs> ends up running up on Dio. And bro's like, how dare you raise your voice at me? You should learn some respect. So he elbows him in the nose. In the mouth. Like, hey, hey, stupid little nigga. You just mad because I raised up your girl. Ooh. Good. Then Jonathan just started laying the hands on him. Hit this man with the Dempsey roll. So Dio's like, oh, how dare you lay your hands on my beautiful face? I swear to God, I'm going to shake your ass. Oh, then whoa. ends up stopping him. So Dio's like, <sighs> Think you getting away with this? I don't take else. So later on, the butler is walking oh, Lord. outside and he's at the furnace and he sees this box. So he's like, Oh, it's just a box. So he lights the furnace, but then something start banging. So then later the on hell? in the day, they having a funeral because the dog was in the furnace. <laughs> oh my. What? No, yo, really? This dude is that heartless? I was trying to wonder where the dog went to. Dang, homie. My God, bro, this man Dio put the dog in the furnace to burn him. Oh, my God. So a couple wow. of years pass and they end up becoming friends. Well, not really because this man Dio not really. Hell. So George yeah. Joe Star has gotten sick and he has a very bad cough. So the thing is, Dio has been giving this man medicine the whole time. But really? not his real medicine. This man has been poisoning him. He poisoning him. And then Jonathan figured out, wait a minute. Didn't your dad have the same symptoms too? Oh my God, you killed your father. Ooh. So then Dio's like, are you trying to press me right now? So he ends up swinging on Jonathan, but Jonathan just ate that junk. Boy was like, bro, you best get to stepping out of my house. So he ends up throwing him off the balcony. So Jonathan's like, you a fake ass nigga. And I'm calling the cops. You need to leave. So Dio really? ends up dipping, but he takes the stone mask. So later on, he out here drunk as hell. So he ends up running into these two dudes. So bro smacks him in the jaw. Ooh. He's like, mm, this is the perfect time. Time to test out this stone mask. So he puts it on this dude and runs him into the other dude. So it stabs him. So then wow. he activates with the blood. And he done turned this man into a whole vampire. So the dude starts to choke him out. But that top of the morning end up getting his ass. So after this deal mm. pulls back up to the house. So Jonathan runs up on him. He was like, yeah, I done figured out you've been poisoning my dad. So Dio's trying to plead his case. Then Speedwagon in the corner like, I, I, I don't trust that nigga <laughs> with his old cap and ass. And then George is behind the curtains. So Dio's like, well, I ain't got nothing to lose now. Bring me that ass. So he ends up stabbing George. What? He's like, <laughs> yes, it's Marvin Tom. So they end up shooting him and Dio ends what? up going out the window. So about a minute later, while everybody thinking he dead, they're like, uh, why is nah. his body gone? And he rips this man's head clean off. And now he's a whole ass vampire. So bro just got body and everybody in the house. So then he goes over to Strike. fight Jonathan, but he ends up burning him. 
But obviously, that ain't do nothing. He just shrugged it off. And yo, look at this man walking up the wall like a Louis Vuitton model. What the f***? <laughs> Nigga said Jim Payne got shit on me. And look at Jonathan. He like, nah. Oh my God, his zestiness is too strong. So man's had to tackle him all the way from the roof and impale this man on a spear. So he got finally what? ash, but obviously that's not going to work. Hello? I have a challenge for all of you. Go to every computer in your house, your mom's, your dad's, your sister, your brother's computer, and install Honey. Wait, mom. So after this, Dio does a bunch of shenanigans. First off, this man turned Jack the Ripper into a vampire. So then he goes over and takes over this entire village, turned basically almost everybody into zombies, kidnapped this little boy's sister, stepped what? on this dog. Oh. What the f*** is that, bro? Like I'm I don't know, know man. man. Oh, boy, this is probably the worst thing this man ever did. So he got this lady and her baby up here. So she's like, please, please just spare my child. And Dio's like, bitch, please, who you think I is? Your baby daddy? I ain't got time to take care of your damn kid. So he turns her into a zombie and makes her eat her baby. What? No, no I'm done. No, this is probably the first. Bro, you're serious right now? This dude. Just with the first exhibit, he earned that spot at the damn table. This, oh my God, are you serious right now, man? First time I've ever done this, but I don't care. Go ahead and sit down, bro. I, I, I'm done. Yeah. This is the most demonic shit I have ever seen beside, besides. Hell, me too. Satan is in heaven. This is right behind it. What? The actual f Nah, bro. We ain't even done with Exhibit A. And I just had to no. the man's, bro. I had no. I had to give this man a fast pass. He skipped the line. Bro said, yeah, I'll spare him, I. So after a bunch of traumatic ass events, Jonathan finally pulls up on deal. So he's like, wow, congratulations. You beat all of my sub bosses. Tell me, tell me real quick. How's that Zeppeli pack hitting? Really? So then they about to scrap, but Dyer comes in and he's like, no. This is my fight. So he jumps up to kick him, but Dio grabs both of his legs oh. and makes him do the splits. Then he freezes his entire body. Then he says, you know, men shouldn't do the splits, right? Because that's how you break your balls. <laughs> Yo, bro, shattered this Yo. body. So then Jonathan comes in and slices him in half with his sword. But Dio's like, <laughs> you really thought that old bullshit was going to work? Say psych right now. Let me tell you something right now. Yo, I'm on training is ass. You are ass. So then Dio jumps at him, but Jonathan hits him with this 10 Cody fucking punch. So Dio's like, impossible. Gosh, you better the platypus. Bruh. So some time passes. So Jonathan and Arena end up getting married. So while they are on their honeymoon, Jonathan oh, is seeing one of Dio's assistants. So he runs after him and they end up going to this casket. So bro opens the casket and he pulls Dio's head out of the casket. Then Dio says, happy honeymoon, nigga. Hey, hey, first really? Time, I just want to give my congratulations, even though I did steal your girl's first kiss. Congratulations. My bad. I couldn't make the wedding, bro. I knew I would have been your best man, right? Tell me, tell me something real quick. How about man. Your case? So bro laser beams this man, turns everybody on this ship into zombies, and ends up jacking this man's body. And he rested at the bottom of the ocean for years, 1889 to 1983. So yeah, really? Exhibit A, it is finally time to move on to Exhibit B. Oh my God. Right, ladies and gentlemen. I it's now the second half. Exhibit B. D yep. So after Dio came out of his casket in 1983, this is when he took stuff to the next level. Bro was on his Kanye arc. Nigga dropped off his last name and said, you will know me as capital D, capital I, capital O. Mans was going around beating cheeks, beat some cheeks made Bruh. Jorno, beat some old cheeks, had Bruh. three other ugly ass kids with Jonathan's body and he would just drink their blood after he finished beating their cheeks then he ended up meeting what? Gucci, his hating ass successor passed down his hating ass ideology to this nigga. got his stand from Inya the hags ugly ass 
And yo, this man was just so mysterious at the beginning of Stardust Crusaders. You ain't even see his face till like 45 episodes later. Everybody just had stories of meeting him. Avdol was like, yeah, yeah, I saw that nigga. I was walking up the stairs, right? And I saw this big motherfucker. He was licking his lips and shit. But I was like, hell no, nah, I ain't into that freaky shit, you feel me? <laughs> so I jumped out the window. And he I jumped out the, the window. Dad, so I was stepping. Then they ran into Polnareff. Polnareff was like, yeah, I remember that nigga. Yo, he brainwashed me and shit. Man, took me into this room and he had a gypsy ball and shit. Nigga was like, I can tell your future. And he brainwashed this man Kakioin too. But nah, nah, it's what he did to whole horse. While Dio was oh, Lord, what he did. This man really tried to pull a gun on him. Then when he's about to shoot him, Dio's like, are you positive you want to pull that trigger? Then bro teleports right behind him. And he was like, ooh la la. I liked how you pulled that gun out on me. We should do this more often. Dog had this man shaking in his boots. So when they finally get to Egypt after facing all the sub bosses, Polnareff ends up walking up on this staircase and finally finds Dio. So Dio's like, wow, congratulations, y'all wow. made it. I mean, you down two people, but uh, congratulations. Hey, but I tell you this though, you walk up that step, you're dead. Take a step, I dare you. So he tries to climb it, but he keeps on climbing the same <laughs> stair over <laughs> and over and over again. Dio's like, wow, what's wrong? You on 400 pink or some shit? You know what? While you struggle with your lag spikes, I'm going to sit in this chair that's conveniently here right over this staircase. So then everybody else finally ends up coming in. So Dio's like, hmm, the sunlight. I must retreat. So about a minute later, they climb this staircase and they see this casket. So Joseph's oh, like, hey, ugly ass boy, open the casket. So he opens the casket and he He's not sees there. himself in the casket. What? So they like, oh shit, hey, jump, yeah. Yo, the fact that this man Dio put this man in the casket like that. Man's killed him in the blink <laughs> of an eye and shoved him in the casket just so he could give him a little scare. So they are running away and Dio's like, ah, oh, yes, the hunt begins. So Sick of all the ads like oh this my one? God. Just head to adskiller.com, click on activate now, add adskiller to... So later on, bro, walking down the street, and he's like, hmm, I like this car. So Dog's like, hey, what you think you're doing, cuz? This car belongs to the senator. But he just breaks his arm and hops in the car. So then he looks at the senator, rips out his two front teeth, and he says, hmm, looks like you got a date with the tooth fairy tonight. Now get your ass in the front seat and drive. So while they drive in wow. the traffic jam, so the senator's like, yo, I can't drive. Then Dio says, uh, you know the sidewalk's wide open, right? So he starts driving on the sidewalk and Dio's Driving on the sidewalk, yeah. So he made this man run over all these people just to get out of a traffic jam. Jesus Christ. <laughs> so he finally ends up catching up to him. So Kakioin tries to use Emerald Splash on him, but Dio just looks at it. He's like, wow, so pretty. Get the shit out of my face. This bro sucks. So while they keep on driving, he blows the senator through their car. So they end up dipping and going on top of the roof. So Dio follows them. So then Kakyoin sets up this trap. So it's like, ha ha, I have you now. So show me your standability. So Dio's like, I then witness true hatred. The ratio. Damn. So really? Dio goes over to him and says, this is my standability. The ratio. I can stop time and ratio anybody in the amount of mere seconds. In just a blink of an eye, I could freeze your account and gain hundreds, no, thousands of likes before you even gain one. Now, I'm about to fist you. And he ain't really had to say it like that. God, no. Man, this, this dude, Dio, yo, for real. No pause. <laughs> because we're already paused. Resume. So Joseph was like, oh, nah, what's the best thing I know how to do? Hit the jets and get the step. So while he's chasing Joseph down, he ends up punching him off this roof. So Joseph sees Jodoro and he's like, oh, my God, my nigga, do not come any closer. So then Dio sees him and he's like, mm, uh -oh. both of them at the same time. Time to end this mid-ass bloodline. The ratio! 
So then Dio comes down and just starts walking towards him, smacking cats, smacking people like they mannequins. And he's like, hmm, I could only used to give one L at a time, but now I can give two. It'll you can give two of them. To 20, to thousands. So I leave you with my parting gift. And with wow. Ratio. So then he looks at Jotaro and he's like, hmm, your next little nigga. So Jotaro starts walking towards him. So he's like, huh, so you're approaching me? You trying to fall off like your granddaddy nigga? But he's like, nah. Oh I my God. Closer to you so I can beat the shit out your ass. So Dio's uh -oh. like, mm, I like that. I like that energy. Nigga. Come get this fade. So they start boxing and Dio hits him with this nasty hook. And he's like, mm, that's what I used to hit your gr gr granddaddy with back in the day. Now come this ratio. <laughs> So they keep on scrapping, so Joe ends up punching him into this jewelry store. So while he's knocked out, he gets up and looks at the lady. He's like, hey, make yourself useful and fetch me my leg. So she started to get scared. Oh, my so God. Said, Bitch, hurry the f up and give me my goddamn leg. So he ends up killing her and taking her blood. And he's like, oh, really? He just getting started, you overgrown man child. I hope you're ready for a knife party. So they broke into oh, all these knives at this man. Like, can somebody please tell me where this man was storing all of these knives at? Like, for a I know, right? Way that belt buckle handled all of those. So he ends up <laughs> stabbing him. So while he's on the ground, Dio's like, hmm, I guess I'll just kill him with this road sign. But then Polnareff comes from the top rope. And then Dio just stops on me. He's like, oh, that tickled. Go ahead and move to the side for me. So then the cops pull up. Lord, the cops ain't gonna do jack. <laughs> so then he starts controlling the other cop. And he's like, I, right, I need you to aim right and precisely right there. So he makes him shoot him. And yo, this man is so determined to make sure that he is dead. He is lying on the ground trying to hear a heartbeat. Bro's like, I better not hear this nigga take a breath. <laughs> but you know what? Just to make sure, I'm going to chop off his head with this road sign. But Jotaro ended up cracking him upside the head. And he hit him so hard, he can't even move his legs. So he's like, ah, oh, no, I got to go. So he ends up stopping time and hanging on to the back of his taxi. But then Jotaro ends up chasing him down. And why is he in the sewer right now? So then he ends up sending <laughs> Dio flying. But then this man Dio starts screaming at him. He's like, ha ha, you fool. You fell for my trap. Don't you remember this same street? So we ended up punching him to the street that Joseph's body is at. And he ends up taking all of his blood. He sucked that man dry. Pause. And now he's a mm. losing Dio. And bro is a losing his mind. He's like, mm, yes, this glorious power is even giving me green lipstick. Oh, I can't wait to give you a big, fat, juicy kiss. So they start Ugh. scrapping again, and Dio's just starting to go off the deep end now. I was like, this body is so juicy. Ugh. Now run me my money, nigga. So oh, my go God. Flying, so Dio's like, oh, Jojo, what do you think you're doing? You Man, I ain't gonna lie. This dude look like he done turned into like a muscle-bound joker, yo, for real. Like he done got, he done got the purple, he done got the purple lipstick and all the other stuff on and everything. Like, it seemed like he done just turned into the whole, a whole new Joker and shit. Look at it. Now run me my money, nigga. Run me my money. So Dio's like, oh Jojo, what do you think you're doing, you sack of shit? Ooh. With this final attack, I will finally end your mid-ass bloodline for good. So ratio! Really? So then he comes down and he's like, hmm, I'm about to create the greatest meme in anime history. One L's has passed. Two L's have passed. Three L's have passed. So we gotta be thinking, okay, yo, what is this man charging up? It's gotta be like a I know, spirit right? bomb or a Sangon, a Getsuga, or I don't know, a dragon fist. No. This man does the unthinkable. What? He brought a tank. He dropped a, a steamroller steam on him. Who in their right mind would think of this? Bro said, hmm, I could end his life with anything right now. You know what I want to do? I'm going to fly over to this construction site. Grab this big ass steamroller. Fly it all the way back and slam it on this 
What? That what? Man is just man. doing the most. So then he starts beating. And for the longest time, for all these years, I thought, yo, he's beating the hell out of this with his fist. No, no, take a closer look. He is beating this with his elbows. He got some elbow action going on with this shit. So then he's Bro. Like, no use. You fella. Oh, shit. So then he was like, yes. <laughs> I finally done it. After all these long years. <laughs> Ratio power! I have finally ratioed the entire fucking Joe Star family. All you bitch ass niggas fell the f off. My ratio power has now exceeded to nine L's. But then Dio ends up realizing he can't move because Jotaro just stopped time. It was like impossible. This is bullshit. So then he ends up kicking him off the steamroller. So then they end up having one final clash. But wow. And Jotaro hit him with a counter ratio then he says you know man there's only one reason why you lost you just simply pissed me off get off my family dick so yeah uh i mean i already sat the man so what more could i say i mean yeah i know we'll right get into some of the stuff that happens in part six but that would be getting into spoilers for anime only so i'm not gonna do all that but uh yeah bro this man is a menace this is a demon yeah God. man tormented this family for damn near 100 years made a lady eat her own child and along with dropping a steamroller on a nigga no, pack your bags. Bro, pass this test with ease. Hey, I ain't gonna lie. I forgot to record that outro, so I'll just leave y'all with this. <laughs> wow. Dio. We still have we still haven't fi figured out where this whole, you know, still haven't figured out where he where he came from or whatever. Cause this this is crazy, yo, for real. But yeah, this that's crazy. This dude, Dio boy, I've never, never heard of, never heard of the name. N haven't found out, you know, where exactly, what anime he came from or whatever. But if anybody knows, let me know in the comment section, cause I might have to check out that anime, whichever one he's from. I might have to check it out just because, you know. I don't even care if it spoiled it for me a little bit or not. I mean, I'm still going to watch it regardless. Cause I'm a big anime friend, you know. A good amount of people are too. But, you know, I like it like that. I like it. But either way, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. For those who are staying to this end. And those who are liking and subscribing to the channel. Also, you know makes things you know a whole lot better knowing that you know that you like the content or whatever so without further ado i'm out this thing and you know see you in the next video make sure you check out my gaming channel and it's in the description make sure you have the post notification bells on and i am out this thing peace